Hey there guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing a nifty little lens I got a little while ago, the Canon EOS M 22mm f2 STM lens. I'll be doing my best to give an unbiased, informative review of this great little piece of kit. So let's go over some of the features. Its focal length is 22mm, which in full frame terms is 35.2mm. The aperture opens wide at f2 and it's the EFM mount, which means that you can only use this lens on your Canon mirrorless bodies. As far as I know, um, you aren't able to adapt this lens to other mirrorless bodies. The price? Well, the recommended retail price is about $250, I believe, but you can buy them on eBay, um, new and used, between $175 to $200, and sometimes cheaper if you get lucky on an auction. I picked mine up secondhand as part of a bundle with a camera, and only spent about $50 on it, which is an amazing price. This lens features a silent stepping motor, um, but unfortunately, due to it being a pancake lens, it does not have image stabilization. The maximum magnification of this lens is 0.21 times, so it is not a macro lens, although it does have nice close-up image quality. I do quite like this lens's build quality, although it has a lot of plastic on the front here, it actually has a lot of metal too. One of the great things about this lens is its size. Here it is strapped to the body. Here's another M with the 18 to 55 strapped to it. And here's the EFS 18 to 55 next to that. You can see that it's a lot smaller. Since this is such a small lens and sensor combo, you can easily fit it into any jacket pocket or pant pocket. This truly gives you the freedom to bring it with you anywhere you go. One of the quirks that it has with being a fully electronic lens is that when you attach it to the camera with a battery inside, you'll see what happens. It zooms in and out, even though the camera is actually off. So make sure not to put pressure on the front of the lens while you attach it. With this being a fully automatic lens, there's no switch on the side for autofocus or manual focus. And you also obviously can't change the aperture manually. If you've already got this lens and you're wondering where you can change the lens from autofocus to manual focus, you need to be in manual mode and then go into the menu and in the second screen here it is focus mode and you can change it from autofocus only, manual focus only or both, which is usually what I go with. How does this lens work against bright lights? The latitudinal aberrations are controlled quite well. When we zoom in here, we can hardly see any purple and green fringing. This lens renders out of focus backgrounds quite nicely. The lens is sharp in the center of the frame straight from f2. This is a very desirable outcome. The corners of the frame don't receive as much praise wide open though, but with a little slopping down, you can bring the vignetting and corner sharpness under control. They become quite good by f3.5 and become sharpest at f8. The lens's simple optical design means that it will have this lost sharpness in the corners. But it's so easy to correct that the lens profiles are built into the camera and also into Photoshop. Here are some of my own photos that I was able to capture with the lens.